In 2007, I awarded the Medal of Freedom to Dr. Oscar Elias Bisset. I did so because of his courage and his devotion to freedom. He couldn't be with us then because he was in a prison cell, locked away for daring to criticize Cuba's communist regime and for demanding respect for the fundamental rights of the Cuban people. For the past several years, Oscar has entrusted his Medal of Freedom to the Bush Institute's Freedom Collection. Uh, he did so until Cuba was free, or at least until he was free to travel here. There's still a long road ahead before Cuba's freedom is realized. But at long last, Oscar has finally been released from prison and allowed to leave the island. Uh, and so we welcome you, Oscar. We've been waiting for you, and we are thrilled you're here. I want to read uh, a few words from my speech in the East Room uh, that when we announced your Medal of Freedom. Here is part of what I said. Oscar Bisset is a healer, known to 11 million Cubans as a physician, a community organizer, and an advocate for human rights. For decades, he has told the world what he has seen in Cuba, the arrogance of a one-party state, the suppression of political dissent, the coercion of expectant mothers. For speaking the truth, Dr. Bisset has endured repeated harassment, beatings, and detentions. The international community agrees that Dr. Bisset's imprisonment is unjust, yet the regime has refused every call for his release. To the Cuban dictatorship, Dr. Bisset is a dangerous man. He's dangerous in the same way that Martin Luther King Jr. and Gandhi were dangerous. He's a man of peace, a man of truth, and a man of faith. In captivity, he has continued to embody courage and dignity. His example is a rebuke to the tyrants and secret police of a regime whose day is passing. Dr. Bassett is also a young man. God willing, he'll soon regain his freedom as justice demands. He deserves to be reunited with his wife, Elsa, and all their family. And the land they call home deserves to be free. I am inspired by his unyielding commitment to his people and his nonviolent defiance of an unjust regime. He symbolizes all the brave men, brave men and women of Cuba who continue to have a vision for a free and democratic Cuba. Laura and I will continue to stand uh, with the Cuban people for their freedom. The Bush Center will continue to stand for Cuba people's liberty. We will continue to stand with a great man with a mighty heart, Oscar Bisset. I'm now honored to finally present Dr. Bisset with the Medal of Freedom. The United States stands with Oscar Elias Bisset in his heroic struggle against tyranny salutes him for his courage, and honors him for his devotion to freedom and human rights. Esta medalla es un símbolo que honra a todos los luchadores pro-democráticos cubanos. So this is a present to all this, the people who fight for the liberty in Cuba. En su lucha contra la tiranía castrista. In their struggle against the Castro tyranny. Por eso. That's why. Los cubanos estaremos eternamente agradecidos. We will eternally. Por su gesto de amor altruista y de libertad con Cuba. We Muchas gracias. We will eternally thankful for your gesture of freedom to Cuba. <laughs>